Hey, what's up everybody and welcome in to a tutorial video. Yeah, it's been a while since I've done one of these. I told you in a previous video, I cannot remember what video at the, at the moment, but I did say I needed to redo the tutorial on how to use OVR advanced settings and the height toggle and all that stuff which hello puppets i don't know how well the game is even being shown uh youtube has not been being nice with this game but anyway that out of the way you guys won't really need it um you typically will start the game off like this if you have to play seated or you want to play seated or anything like that if you guys know me i play seated because i can't stand so well how, how you can't really play it like this you can play it like this though and i used the height toggle to do that and this is how you do it so you're going to bring hit your guide button or whatever the button is brings up your Steam VR and all that. You're going to want OVR advanced settings down here. So basically launch Steam VR and then launch OVR advanced settings. And it's going to look like this. You're going to have all this stuff and where you're going to want to go first is not offsets, even though you would think it is. You're going to want to go to motion. Going to want to go to motion. And here's what you want. Height toggle slash gravity floor offset. This is what you're going to want. Now, I've kind of found the sweet spot for not only the chair I'm sitting in right now, just kind of like a office chair pretty low to the ground um but also from something like my wheelchair that is of kind of the normal height of a typical chair um the perfect number seems to be negative 0 0.55 negative means up you know and positive is not it's really weird it's going to take time, but this is kind of what I have found to be the best. Um, the first time I tried to do this tutorial, I was in uh, Phasmophobia before they had a seated mode. And it this was kind of the sweet spot that I hit. Otherwise, I was going through the ceiling and that wasn't good. But yeah, do that. Going to turn that. You You can turn that on. But this is where the toggle comes in because do you want to have to bring this up and turn it on or off all the time? No, you don't. So you're going to go back and you're going to go down to bindings. Takes a second, but it'll switch. Go into. I have a saved setting. And for this game in particular, because clicking in the left stick is to run, I have swapped it over to the right joystick. You add the click. We'll actually do this. So, click or press. Come on. Press on that. And then you're going to get these. Going to get right Oculus Touch Controller. As you can see, that's what I'm using. And we'll go to the joystick, or we'll select joystick, and this is what you get. So, or click, touch, and position. Gonna wanna go to click, and then you have all these options. All these options, including an auto turn, which is, in, which is amazing. Um, but what you're going to want is height toggle. Height toggle. Now on that click, I'm just going to save it again. I don't really need to, but I'm going to save it again. 
and then hit the button to fully close that and boom you have a height toggle now I will tell you why this why the toggle is so important let's say you're playing a game this game doesn't typically have a seated mode so you have to use the toggle or use the height offset you drop something on the ground I can tell you right now I'm touching the floor I am touching the floor and I was touching the floor in real life and I was still essentially I guess where my character models knees would be that is because it it levitates it it brings it brings the floor quote unquote up so while your character model appears to be standing the the only way I can think about it is that the game still kind of thinks you're actually crouched so you hit the floor before your character model actually touches the floor which is why the toggle is so important <laughs> it's gonna be so important um one of my an older th series of videos I did playing job simulator that game is not meant for people to be sitting down and yeah I anytime I had to crouch I would untoggle and then stand back up hit the toggle again so hopefully this is a good enough tutorial to get you guys started and help you be able to get this going there is also another program that can be used, which is called Walk-In VR. I will at some point try and do a video for that as well. That also works with um, Oculus VR games. So over on the Oculus app or Meta app or whatever, those games, because the second you launch any of those games, through Steam VR, these you cannot use OVR advanced settings. So it's you you know you're done at that point. If the game has to launch through that, it doesn't fully support Steam VR, then yeah, it disables all of it. So hopefully this is good. Hopefully this one actually helps since you could see what I was actually doing and yeah if you guys were helped by this that's amazing if you guys know somebody that this video will help give it to them give it to them or take the link at the top of the description which is to my accessibility website for VR and non VR games dutydoes.com all my overviews tutorials notes on every game I've played and tested all there easily accessible get everything in one spot but yes all that out of the way I will see you guys in the next one bye